it never gets old. It never it? does. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Steph AB TV and welcome to another video. And with me now, you have got Luke from Hampshire Photography. Welcome, buddy. Hello. How's it going? It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? It has, it has. We've said we wanted to do a club for ages. Yeah. We've seen each other at loads of play, like loads of shows, but never actually taken the time to book something in each other's diaries. We've finally done it. Yeah, we have indeed. So I'm just taking this out of race mode, otherwise, we'll be too late. Race, <laughs> race is nice. Golf R. Golf R. Congratulations, firstly. Thank you very this much. Is quite new, isn't it? It is. I've had it for two months. Two months? Two, two and a half months, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Loving it. Every time I drive it, it's still like the first time I've ever driven it. It's it's silly. It's, it's <laughs> mad. And I mean I've watched I've watched all of the videos that you've done on this car and one thing that I've like one thing that I'm finding already being in here in such a short space of time is the fascination around the Golf R. Yeah. I mean everyone raves about it, particularly this is the 7.5, isn't it? Yeah, the facelifted one. And, so it's, and it's a very, very it's it's a nice it's premium, to be. isn't it? Yeah. Funny enough, this is the standard interior. So yeah. it's got the standard seats, it hasn't got the um, keyless go, so in other yeah. words, very feebable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't have the sunroof. Yeah. But other than that, we've got the virtual cockpit, we've yeah. got the multimedia screen, full touch screen, and we have a G meter. Oh, hello. Which is cool. Now that's very cool. Yeah. We do like that. We have that my a inner child, but uh, yeah. it's a nice place to be. I mean, now we're in normal mode, and it's it's not too bad. I mean, it's, you, can, you can cruise, and then you can you can hoon it. As yeah. Well. No, absolutely. I mean, I know as you guys saw at the start of the video, it's not a slouch. It's a, it's yeah. a very nippy car. I guess the question for me is why why the Golf R? What made you push the button on the Golf R? Yeah, well it's a, a mixture of things really. Um, mainly down to my dad actually, because when he was kind of my age, uh, or a little bit younger anyway, yeah. um, he had loads of the um, Mark One GTIs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the original Golf GTIs, the ultimate Golfs at the time. And obviously I wasn't around then to kind of experience them or see them, but looking through like family photo books and stuff. It kind of just went from there. Yeah. Um, and I've always loved the golfs. We've had like standard golfs in the family. It's just run around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it kind of just went from there. It just sparked something, you know. Yeah. So, and I mean, I mean, how, you've had a couple of months now, so you've bought a couple of thousand miles. Yeah, yeah. yeah 2,000, just over 2,000 now that yeah. I put on it. It's currently on 9,000, so I bought it second hand. Yeah. Uh, even though it's an 18 play. Um, yeah, so I don't say the hit appreciation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Smart move, my friend. Smart move. And you've not, um, so you've not hanged around either, have you? Because you've already started to do a couple of things to it. A little bit, some bolts. Yeah, I mean, what does that look like? So, so far, we've yeah. done the carbon extension paddles because yeah. the standard ones are they're plastic. They still feel nice. Yeah. But they're just not, they don't look special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they look lovely. And you've got to love a bit of carbon, right? Yeah, carbon life. Um, I put a Maxton Design rear lip spoiler on the back mm -hmm. because I think that the back is the only only angle which kind of lets it down almost it almost it doesn't look tame yeah but i think it just needs a little lip yeah i think you're right i mean because it's got those monstrous quad exhausts yeah and you've got a little diffuser down there a little well. diffuser and you just need a little bit of exactly. anger on the yeah. top yeah um and then i've also just recently done a res delete which kind of just enhance answers the sound nothing major it's a cheap one it's not like So this is the, the Golf R Mark 7.5. This is the 310, right? Yeah, 310 officially. Yeah. I put it on the dyno last week. We've got 322. I don't know if that's down to the rest of the because yeah. it was literally just after I got it fitted. Yeah. But, um, 322, not bad. That is good. Um, yeah, it's still, still not quite A45 territory, but... It makes it no I, I, I mean, and also, but for, for reference, I don't actually know the facts right now because we're going to figure it out after this video because we're doing a hot hatch challenge mm. and a A45 versus... Golf R over on Luke's channel, so make sure to check that out because that'll be a good bit of fun. Yeah. Um, and I'll leave obviously links to all of Luke's channel below. But one of the things that I'm, I'm thinking is like the weight of this car versus the A45 and the power to weight. Yeah, because obviously be you're, you're what 370 brake? 380. Oh, well, yeah. hello. Yeah, <laughs> 380. Hello there. So you've um, got a bit more power than me, but I don't know. I don't know what this thing weighs. I haven't. Do you ever think? So the A45 weighs 1500 kilos, but it also has about another 300 kilos of me in it. So power to weight <laughs> probably is a. It, it might be quite yes. even. Oh, yeah, because you're like you know. Like, I'm you're a stick. Way much. You are literally. <laughs> stick. Well, you said it. I did it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I can feel the golf bars already kind of lobsided. Yeah. Which way we're missing, you know? But yeah, no. Springs on one side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
But yeah, no, this this car, I mean, from, from a cockpit perspective, mm. it looks great. I mean, that virtual cockpit, oh, it's, it's stunning, isn't it? It is, it, 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 it makes it, it, it makes the driving experience it, because with the pre-facelifted one, the Mark 7, it doesn't have the um, virtual cockpit, it's kind yeah. of got the you know, standard dials, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, yeah. But this just makes a massive difference, and it's all HD as well. Yeah, you, it is nice. In your face, and it's, it's nice. Right, okay, let's find a little bit of open road and see what the Golf R is like, mm. see how punchy this thing actually is. Let's do it. I'll leave a gap as well so I can floor it. So it goes from 30 to 60. Oh, very nice. In other words, prime time. Prime time <laughs> indeed. Drop the hammer. <laughs> That's mine. Um, it, it works wonders. When you do launch control on this, mm. it's, it's full on. I've yeah. done launch control. The first time I did it, it was like damp roads, kind of like what we got today. Yeah. And I did not spin at all. Yeah. I mean, that's the beauty of four wheel drive. Yeah. Um, and especially like, like huge high power cars. I mean, um, the whole of the internet has seen Arthur's 600, well, a Calvin 600 mm. bhp Golf R. Weapon. And you couldn't get, you know, you can't get that kind of power unless you've got a four wheel drive car. You yeah, can't lay definitely. it down. Like M140i, for example, rear wheel yeah. drive. Yeah, yeah. You're not, you can have more fun, yes. but you're not going to get 600 brake. <laughs> and I think you've just nailed it on the head there is, that's the compromise with four wheel drive, is yes. the fun factor. Yeah. Uh, and for you, those guys who watch my videos will know that I've, I've been very open with it, is that with my A A45 AMG, it's kind of so well built, it's formatic, it's all that fun stuff. Um, but the sensation of speed is one thing, but also the fun factor isn't as high as it was when I had the Abarth, which weighed as much as a pack of crisps <laughs> um, and had so much stuff like done to it. Yeah. So yeah, it's always about kind of finding the balance because for me, the Golf R, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, and those, those DSG farts are incredible. <laughs> aren't they? They're amazing. Yeah. They. they Oh, nice. and, the yeah, and the pops as well. They have like some nice thuds to them as well. Yeah. I do like that. And that's the res delete. It yeah. pretty much just accentuates that. Yeah. And it's got a lovely, like a deep tone. It, it is, yeah. It's a really nice tone to it. I mean, kind of question as well, so we'll see if it's similar for, for you that it is for me, and it's mm. almost a bit of a loaded question, but do you find that the sensation of speed in this car, you don't notice it as much? Because yeah, because it's so comfy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, motorway speeds, it's just effortless. Yeah. Um, uh, it, to be honest, it's a very easy car to daily drive. I don't yeah, yeah, daily yeah. drive it, it's my weekend toy, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Okay, great mate, thank you so much. That's right, for, no for having, well, for having me, that's the other round. Thank you for being on the channel, but <laughs> for having right. me in your car. Yeah, no, it's, um, uh, it's, it's been good to finally, finally, uh, hang on, I've got to get past these cycle. Cycle boy and girl, boom. Yeah, no, it's been good to finally get a collaboration sorted. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's been a long time coming. Yeah. But I mean, so tell, tell my viewers kind of what they can expect to find on, on your channel, I guess. Bit of the same, really. Yeah. Um, kind of documenting life with a hot hatch, shall I yeah. say. Yeah. Um, just anything supercar related. Uh, road trip, we're doing yeah. that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'm going to see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.